Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Micah chapter 3, verse 8. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We give you thanks for another day of life that you have preserved for us. We give you thanks because you have seen it fit to extend your mercy and grace upon us, even this morning. That we still have the breath of life in our lungs and that we know as long as we have this we have hope that you are still allowing us to choose you in this life and to get right with you by following your teachings your word and being led by your holy spirit in the will which you have purpose for each and every soul in, in this life to live and for this we ask dear lord as always for direction I pray that you uplift us by the power of your Holy Spirit, now and always. I pray that you forgive us of our sins, known and unknown, things done or left undone. I pray that you renew our minds and take our hearts, dear Lord, make it just for you and conform it to the mind of Christ and the heart which you have shown us, dear Lord, because you have shown us your love <coughs> in that which you have done for us. You have died for our sins. You have paid that, that cost which we were not able to pay for. And you did it all for us because you love us. So I just pray as we live the rest of our life and the rest of our days upon this earth. That we may love you in return dear Lord. Give you that love that you are deserving of. And that we may show forth your love to all mankind. Because this is the will of Christ for us also. Is that we love one another as you have taught us. So dear Lord, as you've given us your word as a record and testimony of who you are, let us pray that we are we learn and are edified by it, that we grow each and every day stronger with you and in you, so that we can endure and persevere and overcome this world. And upon that day, on your return, we shall be in your glory forevermore. So I thank you, lead us in spirit and in truth, now and always, help our children to be grown up in the way of truth and the righteousness which is found in you, Lord Jesus Christ, so where there are faith, they shall not depart from you, and that each and every person going through their individual tests and trials, to do not faint, and that you uphold us, dear Lord, that we may be pure, purified at the end of this, this stage, or this phase, or this season of our lives. Being conformed to your image in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. <clears throat> so, Micah chapter 3, verse 8 says, But truly, I am full of the power. Sorry, but truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. Amen. So I think earlier on this week, well, last week, um, I said I was going to read the book of Micah, right? take a chapter per day and read it um, because it's just seven chapters. I didn't do it, right? I think I did it like a couple mornings, but um, I read I read the, the book this morning. The, the whole book is it's not that long, to be honest. So I read it this morning when I got up and... You get to kind of get an understanding. I think you'll have to reread it a few more times. But it's a nice little short book just showing forth the prophecy of the prophet uh, Micah, which God gave unto him to Israel, right? As the, the, the story that always goes with the um the people of Israel, well, the God's chosen people, they forsook him or kept on for, forsaking him. And as always, God is merciful in that he raised up a prophet to declare the transgression of the people. So they know what they were doing wrong so that they can either choose to, to, um, to repent or if they continue in their evil ways, he also tells them what will be the end of that, right? So even in this um, chapter, chapter 3, it was... Um, Calling out also the, the prophets that prophesy falsely, right? Where is it? 
Uh, where? Da, 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 da. Yeah. And the sun shall go down over the prophets, and they shall be dark over them. Verse 6. So if you read it for yourself, it kind of was showing you the the um what what was the judgment god was proclaiming on the people and not only the people but the the, the individuals that they were holding in in um high regard with concern to spiritual things right and we know that there's only one god so anybody who is operating outside of that one god they're doing something not godly right and um the but the prophet proclaimed that he he is he was showing that he was the prophet of god michael in this sense because it said and how it is written here is 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 read like he's proclaiming this right he said but truly i am full of the power of power by the spirit of god so he's showing you who he worships right yeah it shows who he worships right and it shows that the diviners and the other ones, they're not going to get any answer from God. But he's showing that he's filled with the Spirit of God. And obviously, if he's filled with the Spirit of God, he's able to proclaim those things that God wants him to proclaim. Right? And he said, And the judgment, and of judgment and of might, to declare unto Jacob his transgressions and to Israel his sin. Again, there was a, a, a few verses, I don't know which because I, I did all of the chapters this morning. I don't know where I read it. But um, it's like the prophets weren't, some of the prophets weren't doing their job right, right? They weren't prophesying those things that were truthful, right? They were doing things that were falseful. They were taking payments, right? The judges were perverting judgment by taking bribe well, gifts, right? Um, the, the, the prophets were taking reward for prophesying and all of these things. So those things are ungodly, right? Because at the end of the day, God gives his prophecy freely and he expects his prophets to also give freely, right? We can't, if say God called me to be a prophet, figuratively, right? I can't now say, yeah, I got this prophecy from the Lord, but you have to pay me um, £10,000 to receive it. No, you are doing un, un, you're doing unrighteously with that which the Lord has given you righteously, right? He has given you the prophecy, which, which is in his righteousness. And now you are doing unrighteously by withholding it for, for payment. So these are some of the things that the people are doing in, in, this, um, in this time, in this chapter it was declared. And even now, we know that this is still done, right? And that's, that's why we have these scriptures for a record and for instruction in righteousness we can learn from the mistakes of others right but as i said a true man of god has shown you is going to be filled with the spirit and with the power of god and he shall and that's the thing nowadays prophesying if you look at it mostly is only prophesying of well, what I've seen mostly is that people prophesy um, like, oh, God is going to give you a million pounds. God is going to give you a new car. God is going to give you a wife. God is going to be. It's always so like good things. Fair enough if that's what the Lord um, has given you or given that prophet. But it's just interesting that in the days of the other prophets that most of the, the prophets in the whole scripture, when they came and were prophesying, they were prophesying about for the people to repent from the evil that they were doing right that was pretty much their their charge prophet go out declare unto the people of god their transgression so that they can turn away from it so this is what the prophet here also have said i said you can just go and find examples for yourself i might yeah i'll leave it at that this morning as i said i, I think i need to reread this chapter not this chapter but this book just a few more times but that was a general context of what i got from it so anything else that uh, the lord has imparted on anyone if you want to share it definitely send them into the word at eachreachone.org or you can um drop a line in the comment and as much as the lord has let me talk me and kept me over the years i will answer them according to his word according to his principles according to his will being led by his holy spirit so have a blessed day everyone and god's willing we'll catch up again tomorrow